Good afternoon, everybody. This is Dee Reinhart with Illinois WorkNet. I am going to be doing a demonstration here on how to use the case notes for the agency case notes. So what you would do is you would log into your Illinois WorkNet account, go to your customer groups and get into your dashboard. And in here, underneath the dashboard section you will see the resources that looks like an open folder you click on the open folder once you have that page up you'll look for the grantee details tab once you have that tab open select your project which for all of you will be cyep and then select your agency now i am logged in as a test account so this will not go live, but I did test it in production yesterday. So it is working properly as we speak. So once you select both of those pieces, you move over to the right-hand side of the screen, see the word case notes, the words case notes, click the down arrow and you will add a case note. Put the date in. If you are writing something about COVID-19, we are asking that you include the words COVID-19, and I don't care if you capitalize them or not, uh, and then put agency update or worksite update. So if one of your worksites shuts down, then we have that worksite update <coughs> listed there associated with COVID-19. Add your case note here. And then you would send this as an Illinois WorkNet message and an email. And then you would select the particular people. Now, when I tested this yesterday, it showed the people from the agencies. It showed all of the super admin team from Illinois WorkNet, as well as uh, Nicole and Brandon. Yes, who's this? I'm sorry, you need to mute your phone. Going on for the uh, public aid um, program. All right, I got that. Uh, so you need to uh, tab um, mark in here everybody that you want to receive that message, and then you just click add a case note. So if we're sending it to the Illinois WorkNet team, and I want to send it to a supervisor at Illinois WorkNet, or and or whoever I want it to go to from the staff. I would suggest that you always include me and either Brandon or Nicole on your messages so that if it's something that uh, we need to deal with with Illinois WorkNet, then I will receive the message as will Brandon and Nicole. Add the case note. And then once that's added, and it is taking just a moment here, Once that is added, we'll be able to go to the case notes and look at them below, just like we have in the past. And we will be able to export, sort, do whatever it is that we need to do uh, with these case notes. Uh, Yancey is asking if the names that I just mentioned will pop up. And yes, they will show up in that list based on your agency and then DHS and the Illinois WorkNet team. I do have instructions. I anticipated doing this on the webinar today. So on the partners page, we do have the instructions under the full list of resources. And it is at the bottom of the middle column, there is a picture with all of the items marked. So if you want to go in, uh, you can open this and print it, and it shows all of the directions. And I will also upload this recording once we are done with it today. All right, do I have any other questions from people that I need to show this to? All right, I don't see 
anybody typing. So now that I'm done with that, I am going to stop the recording so that we can move on with the items that I need to share with you.